Hi, this is Donna, and today I'm going to try to make a tutorial, my very first one, and it's a tutorial for making this card, which is a happy birthday card that slides out, and when you slide it forward, the candle lights. I made this for a card swap at the Grapevine Scrapbook Expo this year, and I have never done a tutorial before so please leave me instructions or comments um, on the comment section when I post this. I do have written instructions I'm going to try and upload also and so I've redone some of the uh, pre-done some of the uh, things that need to be cut and tried to alleviate some of the time-consuming pieces. So the first thing I did was I have an A2 size card which is five and a half by four and a quarter and I stamped and embossed with uh, Memento Grape Jelly Ink and uh, clear embossing powder on the sentiment on the inside. Then I cut the card front and I actually have a template that I made for how to create the slider, but then I discovered that I had this cute little uh, handy slot punch that I used when I made it. So the uh, measurements for all of this are also in the written instructions. So basically I created this. I cut the slot out and then I'm going to put the template that I made on the back side of the card so I can punch the hole in here for the light to shine through. And it is seven and seven eighths inch from the bot the top and one and a half inches in and I'm just using a standard hole punch to punch the hole in. That will make the hole for the for the light to shine through and what I did is I cut a little one inch square of uh, acetate that I saved from when I bought some stamps because I put all of my clear stamps on a uh, in a old CD case I store them in that so I have lots of little pieces of acetate you do not necessarily need the piece of acetate it just kind of keeps the light from punching through the the hole but it will shine through and the stamp will cover it up anyway so anyway I taped that on the, the card front and then um, the next thing I did was I turned the card front over and I'm going to go through how to create the light for this. Let me see if I can let's see, zoom this out just a bit so that you can see all that I'm doing. All right, so I have a three volt button watch battery of any type. I buy these in pack in lots of a hundred on uh, Amazon.com for about $10 and I will put the link to that and the little LED lights uh, on the comment section of my posting. So I have these little yellow LED lights and if you notice the LED lights one side is longer than the other the long side is the positive side. So when this is assembled, the positive side needs to make connection with the positive side of the battery and the negative to the negative and it will cause this to light up. The way that I did this is I taped the negative side to the back of the battery and then I used a piece of floral wire to extend the positive side so that when you slide it forward on the inside the, the card slider forward it will make this connection and light the light. So I'm going to use just some score tape that I have. I thought I had it out but apparently I didn't. So I'm going to get, I'm using quarter inch score tape. Um, the first one of these I did I used copper tape and actually Copper tape is totally unnecessary expense because as long as you've got a good tape that will make sure that the wires make a good connection to the battery, 
it will work just fine. So all I do is cut tiny pieces of score tape and I make sure that my wire is firmly adhered to the negative side of the battery with the negative side of this. I bend out to the positive side and then I just take my floral wire and I use about a seven inch piece but it can be larger, shorter. Uh, if you make it too long it kind of uh, makes the slider move a little weird. So seven inches seem to work real well for me for this particular card. So I just wrap that around several times and then I am going to use a pop dot, a glue dot, and I'm going to take the light and lay it on the back of the card front, and I'm going to adhere that battery in place, and I'm going to then make sure that everything is firmly attached. So I've got, I got the ultra and glue dots, but any kind of glue dot works really well. I, the first ones that I did, I tried taping them and they got really kind of bulky. So I'm going to stick that glue dot onto the back of the battery. And then I'm going to adhere that so that the light is right at the little hole and the battery is attached below it. There are pictures in the written instructions also. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the front of the card. And for the front of the card, what I did with the, the slider piece, I used the Crafter's Companion Make-A-Wish stamp that comes in one piece like this. And I cut the two little mice on the ladder off of it. I colored it with Spectrum Noir markers and then I put some um, clear stickles on the icing to make it kind of glow and uh, also on the little light, uh, the little match light, the flame. So I am going to adhere the little mice on the ladder. onto the front card, the card front, and I am going to arrange so that the flame is right at that hole for the light. Then I'm going to assemble the slide, the slide mechanism, the little slider for this. I actually use, I like to use two pennies with a pop dot in the middle, and I do that because it uh, makes the, the slide a little bit more sturdy, and it also ends up um, help, helping to hold it in place. So the first thing I did was I stuck the pop dot in the middle of, a, of a, the penny, and then I laid it on the underside with the dot going through it, through the slot, and then I, I'm checking to make sure that the slide piece, the cupcake, is in position. So I hold it on and then I slide this forward to make sure that, and it needs to come up a little bit because there's too much of a gap there. So then I'm going to actually put it up like this that it's going to fit right in there underneath the match. And I'm going to hold it in place like this and slide it back across by holding the penny. See, I can see that it's hanging off the side of the card. So sometimes you've got to play with this a little bit to make sure your, your slide is attached in the correct places. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to line the mouse tail up to the edge of the card front and slide it over 
and then I'm just going to put it up a little bit, slide it back, and right there is where I want it. So then I just take a little pencil and I mark off the back of here where I would need to put the little, and I pull the front off of here. Penny up, my pennies up, and stick them together. And then I'm going to use a glue dot. Put the glue dot right where I made my mark. I'm going to stick. Right on there. And slide it over and it works perfectly. Okay, that's right where I want it. Alright, so the front of the card is pretty much assembled then and you're ready to work on the slider piece. So I'm just going to turn this over so it's laying the way I want it. And my glue dot didn't quite hold it. I'm going to add another glue dot to that just to make sure that it stays where I want it. piece is the slider piece and I have already stamped and em embossed with the black embossing that uh, blast black memento tuxedo black um, ink and clear embossing I put this on here and I then used the Winka Stella and some orange stickles glitter and I'm gonna I got a little scrap piece I'm gonna kind of show you the difference and this, um, in case some of you are a little confused of why I did both. All right, so I don't have an orange Wink of Stella, and it looked a little gold here and not very shiny. So I took the orange peel stickles and I just squeezed one dot into that and then used the tip kind of smear it around on here and if you see now it gives it kind of an orangey tint and it's a lot shinier I don't know if you can see that with the camera but it is so the first thing I did was I took this tab and I just used one of these large tab punches but you can use any kind of tab you want and I like to use uh, liquid adhesive on this when I attach it because then it gives me a few minutes to kind of move it around before it's firmly adhered. So let me see if I can squeeze this with both hands and get it to come out a little bit better. Maybe it's trying to tell me I need to use Oh, that's way too much. So I'm just going to take a little piece of scrap paper here. And I'm going to leave that lost here. And throw over the rest. And probably the reason that this one is clogged up is because I forgot to put my little pin back in when I was done. So then I am going to turn this over and I am going to try to make sure that I have this in the center. 
which is right under the M for my card. Now, bear in mind that all of these measurements that are in the written instructions are specific to this particular card, your slider. That's why I made the template, because as you can see, it's really kind of odd shaped. I ended up, this is like the third one that I made. I had the little slides in different places. So you kind of have to play with the slider to make sure that you get it in the correct position that you want for whatever stamp you're going to use on the front part of it as the slide. So the next thing I did is I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to attach, I'm going to punch the hole in the slider piece and, and the slide because this wire has to go from back to front so that it'll come forward to me the uh, I am pretty sure it's three quarters yeah it's three quarters inch in so I'm just going to take a ruler and I'm going to mark it at three quarters of an inch in and three quarters of an inch down and and I'm going to use again my hole punch and just punch a hole in this part of the card. Right where that little X is so that my wire will come through. So we're going to first of all you're going to have to adhere this wire that's going to come around so that it will stay in place. And again, I'm just using some score tape and I'm going to put a couple of pieces here and here so that it holds the light where I want it and the wire is free to slide forward. You take the back side of the slider and feed the wire in to the front of the slider. And I like to lay my pieces like this, back to front, so that I can see. I usually pull about three quarters of an inch of the uh, wire through, and I like, for this particular one, I've made several of them, and the wire ends up actually making a good connection when it's about even with the flame on the little wish. Like I said, the written instructions have all of the measurements, they have all of the colors that I use to color, yeah, all the supply list, everything is in there. Now you have to make sure that when you put this slider on, it's actually going to line up. So again, go to the front, put the slider piece even with the edge of the card where the tab is out, hold this down, and pull the slider piece out, and there it's lighting up. So, if it's placed in this position, with this here, I should be able to pull the tab. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to use this. This is what I did. Hold down on the slider piece, pull this forward, and there you go. It lights. So, now I need to make this is not all in the right position. So now I'm going to adhere the When I get it all in the right position, then I just pull the wire and loop it around so that it's not going to stick out. And then I use dimensional, and I like to use all the little scrap pieces that I've got here. But for this, I think I'm going to use the micro dot things that I have because it will make it go a little faster for sticking these things on. So I'm just going to stick them on at the 
along the edges. Actually, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a little strip. This is, this is going to look a little easier, I think, on the edge of that. And I'm going to peel the. I'm just going to use this trim piece and I'm going to put it right at the edge of the card, front on the back. And put this one I'm going to put on the bottom. And I need one more tiny little piece. front of the card. So pull this off of here. Uh-oh, forgot one piece. He's flipping around. Okay, so now I'm going to line it up. But now it should. Uh oh, I know what I forgot. Not to adhere a penny to it. Okay, so we're going to tear this off of here. Should be following my instructions and I wouldn't forget a step. So I'm going to tear the front off. Because what you have to do, the part that I forgot was you have to adhere the slider to the front of the slide piece. Probably a good thing I'm doing this too because I got it on there really, really quickly. Alright. So I'm going to use another glue dot or two. This time I'm going to take it again to make sure that the little cupcake is upright and slid all the way to the end. So I'm going to make sure that he's not swirling around. He's all the way to the end of the slide. And I'm going to put this on here. Put the glue dot onto the penny. And then I'm going to flip the slider piece over. I'm going to light it up to the edge of the card and make sure that it's centered so that it doesn't stick when you pull it out. I'm going to flip this around again. Now, the back of your card should look like this with the slider attached to the penny so that when you slide it forward, it's going to come forward and light up. And now, let's see if we can attach it and see what happens. So now we are going to make sure that it's still lighting up. Sometimes you got to pull the wire and twist it on the inside piece a little piece so that you make sure that it's making a good connection. So this is again, you just got to play with it a little bit until your wires are in place, everything's in place, and then you're going to hold everything together and apparently I put that in the wrong place. I did and here it is correctly. So you have to make sure this is slid all the way over. Your card is lined up. That's there.
this. should be able to slide this forward. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, you think as many of these as I put together that of course when the camera's rolling it always ends up something goes wrong. Alright, so then you're ready to adhere the card front to the front of your Card base. Okay, now let's see how this works. All right, so now it's completely together. You should be able to pull this forward, and ta-da, it lights up. Okay, I, I'm going to try and edit this and see if I can take some of my bloopers out, and then I'm going to post it on YouTube. And I am also going to put a link to my blog and to the instructions in the comment section. I hope this is uh, helpful to those people who were wondering how I did the light. And if they're, like I said, please send me comments on how I can improve so that if I make any future videos uh, with instructions in it, I try to get it a little bit better. Thank you.